Chianti smells and tastes like Italy. It's spicy, dry, coarse, and fruity all at the same time. These aren't flaws, they're classic characteristics of Chianti's major grape, Sangiovese, which also happens to be the number one variety of Italy. So how do we find great Chianti? Let's learn more about this famous Italian wine so you can taste the good stuff. Hey, what's up? It's Madeline Paquette from Wine Folly, and if you'd like to taste great wines from around the world, check out Wine Folly Club. It's a monthly tasting group with me and my cadre of wine pros. Chianti, this is a regional wine. So just like champagne, it can only be made in a specific place. And that place is in Tuscany close to the city of Florence, and it's where we'll find the vineyards that produce grapes for Chianti wines. It's an intense wine to taste for a few reasons. Firstly, Chianti is made of Sangiovese, and this grape is a powerhouse of flavor, with aromas of cherry sauce, sundried tomato, oregano, balsamic, smoke, salami, and even espresso. It's so complex that your tasting journal is going to be full of notes of flavors, the wine's bold tannins and high acidity. For food pairing, it's possible to pair with tomato sauces in lasagna, pizza, and pasta because of Chianti's high acidity. It also cuts through the fats in rich roasted meats. So if a savory spicy red sounds delicious to you, let's get into how to find great quality. The fact is, not all Chianti is made equal, and it's okay because the region is quite large with varying growing areas in mountains and in valleys. So the good people of Chianti have broken up the region into eight subzones. The most popular and well-known include Chianti Classico, the original Chianti zone demarcated with a black rooster on the label. Chianti Rufina, a tiny hotspot making cherry-fruited Chianti wines. Chianti Colli Fiorentini, this is right next to Florence and a popular destination for wine tourism. One of the reasons why these Chianti subzones are considered exceptional is because of their rigorous classifications. And this leads me to our next tip on buying Chianti. The big secret about Chianti is that it tastes better with age. The spicy coarse nature of this wine becomes smooth and leathery with extended time in bottle. This chart shows us the various ways you can see Chianti labeled. One year bottled aging is a great start. It includes all Chianti labeled Superiore and anything labeled Classico, Rufina, and Colli Fiorentini. Things really start to get interesting at the Reserva level. Not only do these wines have two years of bottle aging, producers often save their best grapes for this classification. Finally, at the top of the aging pyramid is Gran Selezione. This is a popular choice for collectors. Gran Selezione is the only allowed in Chianti Classico and these wines often fetch top dollar. I have one last little tip for you, but I wanted to share a special introduction from us here at Wine Folly. Hey! Look who we have here. I'd like to introduce you to Colina Marshall, curating for the Wine Folly Club. And my name is Christine Marsilio. I'm a master of wine and I'm the director of education at Wine Folly. So we've got some pretty big news, but I'm gonna let Colina drop it. We have started the Wine Folly Club as a way to share delicious, interesting wines to explore the world with you. Yeah, so not only are you gonna taste amazing wines with us every month, you're also gonna learn and go a little bit deeper on each of those wines too, which we're really excited about. I've gotta say, this has been a huge effort, us putting this all together, and we're so excited to share these wines together with you and to learn more about wine together. I hope you're excited to explore more Italian wines. And my last tip for you on Chianti is to pay attention to the vintage. Look up vintage charts for Tuscany. On a great vintage, it's actually a fantastic time to stock up on value wines, whereas you should be buying vetted producers on less than perfect vintages. Okay, I hope this helps you find your next bottle of Chianti. And until next time, happy tasting. Peace out.